What's going on you guys and welcome back to the A-Ray Show. So our boy over here, Jim Kramer from CNBC, thinks that the Santa Claus rally not only is going to happen this year, but it may have already started. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my own opinions about the Santa Claus rally, whether or not it's going to happen or not. And also, if you don't know what the Santa Claus rally is, we're going to be talking about that in this video as well. So if you guys want to see all that and hear my opinions, as well as this boy Jim Kramer's opinions, Stay tuned, and you guys already know, cue that intro. Before we get into Jim Cramer's opinions and my own opinions, let's talk about what the Santa Claus rally is. The basic and most simplest way to explain what the Santa Claus rally is, is basically the last trading week of December, so right around Christmas time, to the first few days of trading in January, the stock market typically does really well. In the last two thirds of December, dating all the way back to the 1960s, the stock market has been positive. So this rally is considered the Santa Claus rally because the market usually and typically does well during this time. Of course, there's tons of different theories on why this is, from things like holiday spirit to holiday shopping, you know, the institutional investors settling the books, but in my opinion, it really has to do with a lot of tax loss harvesting. And if you don't know what tax loss harvesting is, it's basically just a way to maximize your tax returns or how much you have to pay on taxes for the next next fiscal year on the last year, if that makes any sense. So with that being said, that's basically a small introduction to what the Santa Claus rally is. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments down below and I'll try to address them. But you know what, let's go into more of the infographics on the Santa Claus rally. When I was doing some research on the Santa Claus rally, I came across this cool website over here that has some really good infographics. And I don't know about you guys, but I like looking at pictures more than words and articles. So I'm definitely going to be showing you guys this page over here in this infographic. And by the way, all the links I use will be in the description so you guys can check it out for yourself. But anyways, let's take a look at this infographic. The first thing that really pops up is the average Santa Claus rally success rate. And that's 75%. So the positive returns are achieved 75% of the time, which means that out of every four times, you're taking that dub three percent or three times out of four, which is great. And that's something that a lot of people look at, whether you're a day trader or you're a retail buyer, and you're like, okay, maybe I want to swing trade this, or maybe I want to day trade during this time. And I wouldn't be surprised if you do feel impelled to do that. Because at the end of the day, 75% odds are amazing. So that's what really drives a lot of people. And maybe this could the speculation could really amp into the Santa Claus rally, causing a lot of people to buy in and then sell out later on in January. So with that being said, let me know if you guys are planning to swing trader or not. But either way, I think that's great. And then let's take a look at the Santa Claus rally in the past five years. This is a little bit outdated. I couldn't really find a newer version, but let's take a look anyways. So this article or this website does say that fewer traders are starting not to believe in the Santa Claus rally just based off of these years alone. I mean, we see 2013, there was just a little bit of a gain, which is fine. Then there was a huge loss in 2014 and 2015, but then 2016 to 2017, they've been kind of decent. But at the end of the day, it's totally up to you as an investor, whether or not you want to take part of the Santa Claus rally or you don't. Let's take a look at a little bit more of a broader scope. So dating back all the way to 1999 to this date of 2020, we can see that in the past, those past 20 years, we only took one, two, three, four, five five negative trends while we've had 15 positive trends or I mean there were a few neutrals right here zero percent but either way it's roughly around 75 percent of the time that there is a positive trend during the Santa Claus rally so like I said before it's totally up to you as a retail buyer or as an investor or even as a trader whether or not you want to take part of the Santa Claus rally or not so anyways with that being said and taking a look at these percentages Let's take a look at what Dream Kramer has to say about the upcoming 2021 Santa Claus rally. So whether or not you believe in Jim Kramer or not, or if you're a fan of his or not, it's definitely worth looking at his perspective because it does give us a little bit of insight into at least what he's thinking and what could be prevalent to other analysts as well. So through this article, Jim Kramer really points out two different things. One, he believes that Santa Claus rally is definitely going to happen this year. And if it has not already started, it's definitely going to start earlier than as expected. Which, I mean, it does kind of make sense because, you know, the stock market has not been doing exactly super well the last few months. 
So to his point, it's definitely possible. I mean, who really knows? Like I said before, nobody really can predict what the future is going to hold. And the second point that he has is there's really no negative catalyst for the rest of this year. And that could make sense why the stock market could rise. So, I mean, to his point, that does make sense as well. So it's totally up to you guys whether or not to believe him or not. And if you're, again, a day trader or somebody that, you know, swing trades a lot, there's more factors you want to look at than just what Jim Cramer has to say. But anyways, that's his opinions. Let me talk a little bit about mine. So in my opinion, and the guys, don't get me wrong, I'm usually very bullish on the stock market, but for at least a Santa Claus rally, to be honest, I don't really know what's going to happen. And here's why. So if we take a look at the S&P 500 throughout this year, we're up almost 25%, which is insane. This has been a great year for the S&P 500. And the Santa Claus rally really has to do mostly with the S&P 500. In fact, that's basically what it's for. But on the other side of things, if we look at the small cap, or even the mid cap, the Russell 2000, you can see that it's not performing as well as the S&P 500. In fact, small caps are down huge. I mean, down about 15%, which is terrible. So when a lot of people look at the stock market, we're really looking at the bigger stocks such as Apple, Amazon, and so on. We're not looking at some of the other smaller stocks out there, penny stocks and so on, which is understandable and arguably so, but at the end of the day, they're still in the stock market and they're definitely still a resource and a tool to actually make money or even invest. So with that being said, I could see there being a shift in the Santa Claus rally, especially now that a lot of penny stocks are down. They're down terrible. So and not only penny stocks, a lot of these stocks like Tattoo Chef, Palantir, even Neo, these smaller companies that are still pretty big companies, but they're down near all time lows, at least 52 week lows. And that could be a giant shift. A lot of people and institutions could be taking a lot of profit from the S&P 500 and shifting it over to stocks such as Palantir, Tattoo Chef, even companies that have IPO this year and have not been doing that well, Honest Company. Um, there's Coinbase out there. Like I said before, there's tons of these other stocks. So this shift could really happen and maybe there's a smaller sell off in the S&P 500 or maybe it could even rally. But in my opinion, I think there's going to be kind of a smaller sell off in the S&P 500. And this is going to lead into a lot of people buying into these penny stocks, these mid cap companies, these companies that have a lot of potential, but aren't really like they have a lot of growth, but they don't really pulling in a lot of revenue as of now they're still losing money stocks like palantir I, I really believe that these stocks are going to explode not only in the santa claus rally but in the future of 2022 so who really knows i mean they could even rotate into crypto i think that there's a lot of money in the s p 500 right now i don't know if these valuations are going to stay steady but these are my opinions let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below personally I don't sell out the S&P 500. I'm keeping my money in there. I have my dividend growth portfolio that you guys all know of. I'm just adding a little bit more into my growth portfolio, the area ETF. So if you guys know my, my channel, if you guys know what I invest into, those are my growth stocks. Those are my, um, I can't even think of them right now, but basically my end phases, my Etsy's, my Palantir's, even a little bit Neo stocks like that, where I believe that they're going to grow a lot, Tesla and so on. And I'm still investing my weekly amount into my dividend portfolio. But at this point right now, I do believe that my growth portfolio is going to do a lot better in 2022 than my dividend portfolio in 2022. So again, let me know your guys thoughts down below. Let me know if you guys are on my side, Jim Cramer's side or your own opinions. And let me know. I'm interested to see. And guys, that's going to be it for this video. I appreciate all you guys for watching my video. And stay tuned. I think either the next week or the week after, we're going to be talking about whether or not I met my goals in the investing year of 2021 and my future goals for 2022. So with that being said, peace out, guys. And remember, everybody eats.